you know, I, I knew this game was going to be like this. I knew it since since watching their uh, their game last week against Cincinnati. I mean, a team that wins 32, 34, whatever some games they won last year that returns 11 players. I knew this was going to be like this. I knew it was going to be a war. You know, they're just they're too well coached. They're too experienced to to, to come out and just get blown out. And, and I told our guys, and they knew it. You know, it's it's just a team like that's tough because. You can try to simulate it in practice as much as you want, but at the end of the day, they work on it every day. So, you know, I, I thought the best part to me was is I thought even though our offense wasn't obviously working uh, in the first half, we didn't let it affect our defense. You know, we held them to 37%. They were 5 for 24 from 3 for the game. Um, you know, obviously they started scoring around the rim a little bit more than they do. But I told our guys before the game, I said, look, we have to defend the three-point line. And I said, you got to try to make this team beat you by making two-point shots. And, and they couldn't do it. But, you know, the, I would not be shocked if that team was a national championship in Division Two. I mean, they are that talented. They're that well coached. And, and they just play together. But, you know, we it, it was a good experience for us. You know, I had a little adversity. Um, good for me. Good for our players. But, uh, you know, we're, we're happy that we came out on top. And, and now we got to get ready for Sunday because it starts to count. So, uh you know, take a day off tomorrow and get ready on uh, on Thursday. David, did you say the demons and turnovers, especially a couple of the unforced early on? Yeah, we were just being careless with the ball. You know, we knew with scouting report wise, they're a heavy, heavy dig team. And what I mean by that is when you take a dribble towards the rim, they're going to have somebody converge on the ball and slap down. And we just didn't pay enough attention to it. You know, we knew we had to get to the corners. Problem was, the guy with the ball wasn't being strong enough. Got it slapped out of his hands, and we just, you know, you have to make the pass a little bit earlier. But you know, that's where this team has really improved. Bellerman, I mean, defensively, I mean, you know, they forced us into twenty turnovers. Some of them were careless by us, but uh, you know, at the end of the day, we we didn't let our offense affect our defense for the most part, which was good to see. Like the team was rushing a lot early offensively, kind of forcing some passes. Um, what does it take to kind of get those guys to kind of slow down, take a bit more time, uh, you know, to set things up offensively? Well, you know, a team like this is th they work so hard to protect the paint that when you're a big dribble penetration team like we are, and all of a sudden that's taken away, it's a little bit of an adjustment. You know, last week we were able to get in the paint a little bit more and kick out, but you know, you got to give them credit. It, a lot of it was us, you know, just being careless, but a lot of it was them, you know, defensively they were locked in on what they needed to do. But you know, we made the adjustment in the second half we didn't give up I mean Q got in the lane a couple of times Dang got in the lane a couple of times and made the right pass and uh, you know it worked out for us Yeah, there's no question. I mean, you know, we were in a little bit of a tough spot because obviously Ryan's out. Joe Griffin sprained his ankle and pretty good in practice the other day, so we didn't have him. And, you know, Darius just had been practicing a lot at the two spot, and he'd been practicing well. So he and Q were in there together a lot. But, you know, obviously we don't want Q playing 37 minutes right out of the gate. But at the same time, you know, it was important that we had him on the floor. I mean, you know, he's, he's the one guy that, you know, six assists, two turnovers, doesn't turn the ball over. So even though he didn't have a great shooting night, he didn't let it affect the rest of his game. Jordan Nora picked up eight rebounds off the bench. Um, what are the biggest things you're looking from for the young guys off the bench to come and contribute to the team? You know, I, I told him after the game, I, I thought Jordan and uh, Darius both gave us very good minutes tonight. And, and that's because they practiced well at, at, since the game last week. You know, every day in practice, their mindset was really good. They were locked in and on what we were trying to do. And, you know, Jordan, he listened. I told him, as I think I mentioned last week, you got to do more than just try to shoot the ball. And, and he... He took that to heart. I mean, he was working on his defense this week in practice, and you see those eight rebounds, which is huge. You know, and we need our guards to rebound for him to come in in 15 minutes and get eight, eight rebounds is huge. Yeah, before the second half started, you pulled BJ King aside. What did you tell him? Because he really came out very aggressive in that You know, I just told him, I said, stay with it. You know, he had a couple open threes. He made his first one of the game, but then he, it seemed like he couldn't really, I think he made two for the game, but he missed a couple wide open ones. I, I just, you know, confidence is a big thing with VJ. I just don't want him to get down on himself. I said, you, you're going to, you just got to play through it, you know, just try to impact the game in other areas. I mean, he, you know, he struggled a little bit, but a lot of that, too, was what they were trying to do. I mean, VJ is very good at getting in the lane, and, and they took that away. But, you know, it's just it, it's going to be it's going to be like that some nights for some guys. But that's where, you know, we're fortunate to have a guy like Jordan just come in and get eight rebounds. So, you know, it's good to have options to put in. How would you describe your team's readiness with the season starting right, the, right around the corner? You know, I, I think we're in a good spot. Obviously, we got a lot to work on, as I'm sure all the other 350 teams in Division One would say right now as well. Um, you know, I, what I was pleased with was defensively, we didn't play well in stretches last week. You know, and I thought we came out today in the first half, we held them to 37 percent, 23 from the three-point line, and they, they focused in on that. And like I said, just not letting our offense affect our defense. I mean, we were turning the ball over, we were missing shots, we were, we were doing 
you know, kind of uh, uncharacteristic things with the ball in the first half offensively. But we locked in on defense, and you know, we held them to, to 23 points. But you know, a team like that is just it's tough to prepare for, but it's also good prep for for Sunday because George Mason plays a little bit of a similar type system. Coach had a chance to coach with you, uh, David. And now, what did he get to say to you before the game? Did he give you any anything in particular? No, I mean, you know, he and I have known each other for, uh, you know, 13 years now. I obviously have a great relationship with him and his son. I, and I just told him after the game, I said, look, you got a heck of a basketball team. I mean, and he knows that. When you have 11 players back from a 30-plus win season, you know that. But, you know, they're they're going to make some noise this year. I'd be really surprised if they don't. And, um, you know, it's it's a, it's a tough style to play against. I mean, you, you can do whatever you want to prepare for it, but you can't simulate it in practice. It's tough to be ready. Is your plan to go kind of small when you did go to the bench? Is that why Malik Williams didn't get much run tonight? You know, I just thought Dwayne Sutton, Jordan, uh, and Darius had great days of practice leading up to this game. You know, it, they, they seemed to understand it. They were locked in defensively. And, you know, a team like this, you're going to have to go small at times just because there's so much perimeter defending. But, um, you know, I, I, like I told him after the game, I'm just going to go with the guys who give me trust in, in practice. And I thought, you know, those three guys did that the most, and that's why they played. was your message you know I, I just told them we were just doing careless things you know it, they were front in the post I said if whoever the guy in the post is just turn and seal him the other guy flash would be a wide open for a high low Ray turned and sealed him honest caught it and then he just threw a careless pass out of bounds I mean it's just little things like that that are just uncharacteristic of our experience guys but you know honest even though you know he had nine points but he had 11 rebounds six offensive which was great to see and um, you know he it's they adjusted and you got to give them credit they adjusted well because we told them every time they drive the ball they're going to look to pass well in the second half they knew that we were staying at home and not helping so they started to score and and honest started to protect the rim a little bit better but uh you know he just he's got to be more assertive and if, if he can and i mean that from a defensive and a rebounding standpoint but he, he responded and had 11 rebounds tonight anything else for david thank you guys thank you